So I wondered why the uh, the old Galaxy all of a sudden the manifold pressure dropped, uh, and I dropped to about 11. I only had 15 to start with because I got a pretty good sized cam in there. Um, yeah, so I was fiddling around, couldn't figure anything out, and uh, I took the timing cover off. Now that's the one side, but I mean, you know, I have a feeling that that's not a good thing. So, I got a new one, and we'll try it. I think this actually sheared itself onto the, uh, it sheared the key a bit, and it's stuck on there pretty darn good. So that'll be a real treat to get off. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited, you know. Most people will be pissed off, but damn, I've been fighting this son of a bitch for, I don't know, man. Probably, I'd say all summer, all my uh, senior year summer, man. And I'm ready to get her rolling again. I got to, I was going to degree the cam, but the cam, when I watched the, uh, the piston and everything, it's all its all where it should be, dead on, just about, but there's a few little instances, so we'll put this on here, this is one from Ford, and uh, I trust Ford parts, and it's adjustable within two degrees of itself, so I feel like that's fun, but I'm going to try not to do that, we'll put it in, see how it runs, just up to standard setting, because, uh, on a comp cams, you know, they're usually advanced or retarded from the factory. And this one I know is advanced four degrees, so I think that'll be the wise choice to make there. Leave it stock and put it in, but that's definitely a little too sloppy to where you might have some problems. So we'll see what happens. We'll post another video if it works out. All right.